I didn't see you there. Why the f did you click on this video? Hey everyone, it is me, Anthony Jones, and I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas Eve Eve. That is the most underrated holiday, of course, that comes right before Christmas Eve, where you're just way too anxious for Christmas Eve to hit. Even though it's freaking cold outside, I still like this time of year. I can enjoy a nice cocoa hot and a good cookie chocolate chip while watching a Charlie Brown Christmas. Though, there's one thing that I love about this time of year, and that has to be my YouTube ad revenue. That thing goes up like two times. Actually, let's check it out right now. Well, looks like YouTube stole my ad revenue. Where the f else am I supposed to get my inspiration? Ugh. Charlie Brown, you're the only person I know who can take a wonderful season like Christmas and turn it into a problem. Maybe Luffy's right. Look, I'm sorry guys, but I've got a sign for a reason. Oh, we're not carolers. We're here to sell you that stupid shit that you don't want. Buy some fucking lotion. Would you buy some fucking lotion? Would you buy some fucking lotion? I really need the cash. My goldfish is in the hospital. See? Look, even if I wanted to buy some of your lotion, I wouldn't have been able to. YouTube just stole my whole entire income. If only I could ask for money to come down the chimney. Hey now. That's not what the holidays are about. Where's your Christmas spirit? Up yours. Have a Merry Christmas, gentlemen. You know, maybe he's right. He is. Whoa, TJ, what are you doing here? Well, I was gonna take some of your eggnog to make some hot cocoa, until I overheard. I just don't know where my Christmas spirit went. You know, I always loved this holiday. Maybe I should find something to get my mind off of this. Wait a sec. What you got there? This is new Super Mario Brothers Wii. I got this one for Christmas. That's it. Maybe if you play the game that you got for Christmas long ago, you can sit back and watch as your Christmas spirit grows. Yeah. Maybe. Just maybe. It was Christmas of 2009. Two of the best things combined. I wake up Christmas morning to find gifts under the tree just waiting to be opened. We go through all the presents and open them one by one. Soon we are left with no presents to open, except for one that was hidden in the corner of the room. It would contain one of the biggest pieces of my childhood. The Nintendo Wii! With it, I also got a game, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I had wanted a Wii and New Super Mario Bros. Wii for a while now, and especially after they started airing the commercials for the game. It is by far one of the best video game commercials in my opinion, showing off many features of the game in real life. The game's packaging was just cool to me, with it being a red case and having a really cool box art and manual. I'm still one of those people that thinks the box is the best part about getting a new game. I've personally kept this game and case in really good condition, and still occasionally waft the smell from inside just to bring me back to when I first unpackaged it. Popping the game into the console, we are greeted to this treat of a title screen and music. One of the newest ideas and additions to the game was the idea of local multiplayer, where you can now venture the game playing as either Mario, Luigi, Blue Toad, or Yellow Toad, all on a screen at the same time. With Mario games of the past, there was no way of playing two players simultaneously. They even outdid this with the ability of four players. 
This feature was huge, allowing it to be more of a family and friend activity with everyone in the family and friend group being able to play. Heck, it was their main sales gimmick. In the commercials, they showed friends and family all together enjoying some Mario. The story starts us at Princess Peach's castle, where they are throwing her a birthday party. And just like every Mario game, the princess gets captured by Bowser, and Mario has to venture through the Mushroom Kingdom to save her. However, this game also brings back the Koopalings, Bowser's children from Super Mario World. For me, this was a great addition to the game, especially since I grew up on Super Mario World on my dad's Super Nintendo. Enough of the chit and chatting, let's get into how the gameplay is. So, did you ever play New Super Mario Bros. for the DS? Of course you did! If you didn't, then you were missing out, because that was the start of some of the best movement in Mario games. New Super Mario Bros. Wii is this, but way smoother than its DS counterpart. In this new adventure, Mario is greeted to some new power-ups that he can use, such as the propeller and penguin suits. Though, these aren't really anything new. The propeller suit is basically the raccoon tail, and the penguin suit is like the frog suit with the ice flower combined. But hey, now you can do this! In order to compensate for the lack of L and R buttons, Nintendo decided that shaking the controller was the next best thing. I mean, come on, what else are you going to do when you're in a battle? You're going to jerk the controller, it's a natural thing. The game consists of eight worlds, with varying terrain like grass, desert, water, and ice. Each world has its own 3D level select map, with pathways to each level. You may come across alternative pathways, or even mystery paths that can be unlocked. Each world contains two boss battles, similar to how Super Mario Bros. 3 was designed. Also similar to Mario 3, we can unlock toad houses of varying colors, the colors of course determining what minigame is in store. However, there is one flaw that I find with this game, and that is the amount of 1-ups that can be attained. Gaining a 1-up from the flagpole becomes a little too simple with the right power-ups, and can make the game pretty easy. Huh. By definition, a loser is someone who has gotten a game over in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Honestly, this was probably intentional, so the game could be more accessible to families. And to me, that's worth sacrificing. This was the Super Mario World 2 that was always wanted, and its design made the game more accessible to adults and youth combined. Sure, it may not have a deep story arc like Paper Mario, or as cool of a design as Super Mario Galaxy, but this has a certain charm to it that makes it great. The boss battles in this game are entertaining, and are themed to the world that you're in. And the final boss battle is really cool and interesting. They have it play out as if it were a normal boss battle, and then surprise us with a Yoshi's Island style twist where Bowser turns huge. This was fun and exciting. With how you have to dodge obstacles from all directions and direct the fireballs to make your exit, it is a blast. Once you make it to the princess, you defeat Bowser and free her from captivity. Even though this is still a pretty simple ending, I love it. This game is just so great, and I'm honestly glad that I had gotten it for Christmas. Because not only did I get this game, but I also got joy from playing it. Huh, maybe Christmas after all isn't just about getting gifts. And maybe YouTube isn't just about making money. Thank goodness. I'm glad you guys are still here. Actually, we're planning to kill you. Steal all your shit. Look, I'm sorry. With everything going on recently in my life, I just totally forgot what matters. Even if I don't have any money, Still doesn't mean I can't give you guys a gift. So here. Thanks, but I'm more of a Super Mario 3D World kind of guy. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that. So what are you gonna do now? I don't know. What I do know is I'm gonna start making YouTube videos for myself. That's fucking dope. What's up? Well, have a Merry Christmas, you guys. Oh, and a Happy New Year. <laughs>